Outrocast. Matt, Logan, Josh, a pleasure to be speaking with all three of you. I'm expecting a, a unison response when I say, how's your day going? Great. Hey, Perfect. Oh. Darren. <laughs> well, thank you very much. you do today? Today. today? Things. Perfect unison. We nailed it. No, awesome. Know the drill right there. All right. Thank you for the time. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure there. Uh, first question I'll throw to Logan. Logan, what was your highlight of making this show? Is there an immediate memory that comes to mind? Probably the crew and cast members. Like it, like every day was a great day on set. And I feel like just going to set in the mornings, it, it was always a good experience. And everybody just made the day so much better. So, Do you remember how long it took to film the series? Well, I don't remember exactly how long it was, but I do remember that I went out to LA I flew out to LA in September and then I flew back home to New Jersey in December mm -hmm. sure. yep. that's it nailed it that's it he nailed it Josh for you experience highlight that you can relay as well I think that when we filmed the pilot which is kind of about Josh's first day of school and it is so similar to my real first day transferring to public right. school. There were several moments uh, throughout that period of filming when I would look around and be like, whoa, that, that, that happened to me. And like, look at all of these people gathered here in this weird soundstage to reenact my life. Uh, and that was pretty surreal, but also pretty amazing. Matt, how did this project come your way? And by that, I mean, people have ideas, but getting them actually made into a show is a whole different ball game. So can you walk me through the process of that? Sure, I mean, what helped is the initial idea was not my idea. Uh, so Josh uh, has written two memoirs, or at least two, uh, production company Muse USA, who's involved with the project, optioned his memoirs and, they, and Josh spoke and they wanted to take this section of his life going from homeschool to public school and turn it into a, a kids and family series. So. I met with Muse, we I, you know, read Josh's book and was drawn to the story for so many ways. Uh, so sorry, was drawn to the story for so many reasons and we just kind of all got together, talked and said, yeah, let's, let's do it. Uh, Josh, those are some of the great credits that you have. And Matt himself has some great credits. Family Guy is in there. Does it the is. Family Guy credits, do those help or do those hurt him in your eyes? In my eyes? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Tread lightly, man. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I mean, Matt brings such a, a depth of comedic television writing traps to the show that, in my mind, it, it helps enormously. Like, any, any comedy that he's a part of, let alone, you know, like, I don't know, one of the most popular comedies of our era, um, you know, to, to have a guy like that as our showrunner, I think it's a, it's a pretty great gift. For sure. Uh, Logan, when they say Josh, do you turn around? Oh, yeah. A lot of times. I mean, just on set, uh, Josh, Josh, Josh. I mean, I, I, I get I was getting called Josh like all the time on set. So anytime uh, somebody says Josh, I always turn my head well, even because I like I'm just I'm just used to it. And even the character Josh is so much like me just in real life and on set. Even today, when people direct questions to Josh, yeah, Logan, I, yeah, like, Logan's like, oh, is it, oh, me, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, it's confusing because, yeah, then it'll be like in the writer's room, or, or you know, I'm a writer and there's also a character, right? So we're always talking about like character Josh versus real Josh, right? And I had to be like, me, real Josh would think this, but like, let's think about this thing for character Josh. Mm -hmm. It was this very weird meta experience. Yeah, there's character Josh, there's somebody playing the character Josh, and there's an actual Josh. So it was very. <laughs> it's a trifecta. Yeah, yeah lots of do Josh's. You, do you fix that by going, this is Josh 1 and this is Josh 2? Do you put numbers? Uh, literally, it would usually be like character Josh, real Josh, or like Logan playing Josh. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Yeah, he's real Josh. That's his, <laughs> yeah. in effect, his name on set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, throwing this one to, to real Josh, um, yeah. how much would you say of the show is written? You know, if there is going to be more episodes and so forth do you know hey we got six more seasons do you think that far ahead well fortunately i'm several decades older than our actor josh so yeah i've got 
I've got decades worth of seasons, I, you know, at least 20 uh, up my sleeve, Darren. But yeah, I think, you know, the um, the book that the, the show is based on is, is kind of my journey from losing my leg up till going to the Paralympics as a ski racer. So yeah, I mean, we imagine that if, if we were to get more seasons of the show, we'd love to see Josh go on some of the journeys that I did uh, in, in my own adolescence, uh, becoming a motivational speaker and a ski racer and eventually becoming a competitive ski racer. As we wind down here, uh, I will throw this final question at all of you, and we'll start with Matt first, and that's besides Best Foot Forward, what, what is the best show on Apple TV? Oh, uh, wow. Uh, such a range. I, I, in Kids and family or kids or just overall? Everything. I mean, you could say the Beastie Boys documentary, even though that's not a show and that was a one-off. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll, I'll answer with this. A show that came up a lot in comparison from all of us on set during production was Ted Lasso. Sure. In terms of Josh's character taken from real Josh, just, you know, he has this great outlook on life and every day is an adventure. And even when you fall, you get back up because the next step, the next day is going to be another fun thing. So it was, yeah, it was our tonal comparison a lot. Uh, character Josh, Logan, because um, now I'm going to do that too. You, what about you? Second favorite show besides fest, uh, Best Foot Forward? I don't know. I mean, I guess Ted Lasso like did come up a lot, mm -hmm. like with on set and stuff, and how you said that like in that show every day was like an adventure and stuff. So I guess I'll just say Ted Lasso too. Was our hey, it's a, it's yeah. an award winning show. I don't blame you. You and could you could do worse. You could do worse <laughs> as a as a show that our show is basically like uh, one of the top shows uh, yeah. in entertainment today. Uh, my favorite right now, I just finished the second season of Tehran. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I really like that sort of genre of spy show. So other than Best Foot Forward and Ted Lasso, I'd say Tehran. Nice. There you go. Well, thank you all for your time. Continued success. Look forward to what's next from all of you. Thanks, Darren. Thank you, Darren. Outro cast.